Right, once you've done all your ironing of the pleat, so this is what you iron up, time to put the mask together. So, the way I do it is I open it up, I sandwich this in between, like that. If you want to make sure that it's definitely there, you can always have the elastic slightly sticking out, but not too much, otherwise it's going to eat into your allowance, okay? Some of your machine, you're going to experience a difficulty when your needles hit the elastic. So my advice is make sure you start it with where it's on top of the elastic. You do a forward and a backward. So that will definitely seal the elastic onto the mask. After that, you just very gently do the rest. So where you've got the pleat, make sure the pleat is all in. When you get to the other end, you can get your other end of the elastic and put this in. I'm making an ear loop style for this one. And that's it. So to do the other end, you can lift this out, turn this round, but this is where you need to be careful so you don't want to undo all your hard work for the folding. Okay, so if you find this is too challenging for you, just pull your stitches out. Make sure you tidy up all your ends. And repeat the same. So you open this up, insert your elastic accordingly, get that flat down. So I can feel one of my pleat is not in the right place when I've got, got my hands underneath so you just have to help it and ease it in a little sometimes that's what you just have to do with pleats and repeat the same the thing. so can you see what just happened the elastic where I hit the elastic it won't go so what we need to do if that happened to you lower your needles bring that back around and do it that way That's it, well, I'll insert either side elastic. Before we do anything, get your pinking shears, if you've got one, tidy up the edge as well. So this is not gonna fray. The next steps we're gonna do before we turn this round is to actually add the chin dots here. Yes. This edge has a guidance half of an inch, and this distance, is just about three eighths so that's roughly how the depth i'm doing a cm here in and just over one and a half cm in the depth flip this over position it in the same place so to do this come on go We have now complete our chin dots, so that will sit nicely at the bottom of your chin. Once you've done that, you can turn this round. So it's a good time to check your elastic before you go any further. So I'm using my bone folders here. We've got a shape at the pocket opening. Final step, get the nose darts in. Fold it equally and I'm using exactly the same measurement so it's the same depth here close top stitch create a nice nose dot to fit it on top of our nose bridge well done so the last step is we're going to give a good iron if you want to put a bit of water to create a steam, you may. 
the key to this is don't iron the elastic. So keep your iron away from the elastic. Just give it a good press. So if you like to get those nice and smooth, you may. But of course, you're not going to get this any better than this, okay? Once you've done that, turn that around, fold to the front. You just get the fold to a nice pleat, okay? Give that an iron. And do the same on the other side. And what I tend to do after that, fold that in half and give that a good press. So from that into your, your storage. So they're nice and clean and sterile. Okay. 